Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 5 of Sky Capsule Project, a mod pack by the mediocre mo modders. Well, in the last episode we breezed through Psy and we got started with mystical agriculture. And when I say spam, that's what I mean by spam. Basically set down, I think, 64? Or maybe 128, you know, now that I think about it. I think I went with 64 and decided it wasn't enough. And it's been generating like crazy. Look at this. I already have five more stacks of Inferium Seed, which I could reprocess later. And I have 16 stack of Inferium Essence. And, well, I have some nice fertilized essence, but right now I don't need it. Okay, so what else do I want to show you guys? Um, well, I did my glowstone seed right here. Here's my little glowstone baby and my copper, which means I now have all of this glowstone. Well, I now have technically infinite glowstone. How much will that be? That should be about 24. Yeah, perfect. So I'm good on that side. So... I did all of that glowstone because I wanted to make um, I wanted to make interdiction torch. Uh, one second, I, I want to show you something before. Oh yeah, and I did die because of the stupid Enderman. So let's remove that. Let's come back here. So this is my idea of a setup. These are all with Inferium farland farmland. So these are all for tier one seed. Then here there's one for each of the tier two seed. One for each of the tier 3 seeds, and these have all of their farmland in. Tier 4 seeds are going to be here, but I haven't made the farmland because I don't have that much essence yet. Those are going to be the tier 5 seeds, and there's only 4 tier 6 seeds, so these are going to be the 4 tier 6 seeds. And this is all going to lead here into a massive wall of drawers. But... That's for a bit later. At least now the idea is the following. So let's just, let's take that copper seed, okay? So technically the copper seed is a tier two. And if I search at, mis nope, if I search at mystical seed and I go right here, tier two starts here. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's going to go in 16. And then I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And that's where the seed will go. And I'm going to place those seeds in their proper place so that I can easily find them in the future uh if like so that i know which one i've made and which one i've not made and i need to have one of each do i really need for the series one of each no do you guys know me yes then you know i need one of each just because and by the way all of these are going to be for passive generation so i start getting some but the ones that are important like if you remember we, uh, we need to make like a redstone one, a skeleton one, whatever. Uh, there's six of them that we need to make. Uh, let me just take a second and show you. There are six of them that we need to make for this. And these we're going to need stacks of. Okay. So those, once I get the powered pots, which is going to come later, I'm going to have one power pot for each of these seeds so that they produce super fast. Whew, so much to say. Is there some more things to say? Yeah, let's come back here. I made my beautiful gold furnace and I made those furnace because they go a bit faster and they have some semi-automation. So I put three in a row. And the reason for that is I can do three level of cooking. Now I put the soul stone cobblestone here. It cooks and push into that furnace into soul stone, which is grabbed by this golden furnace. And that golden furnace is going to turn it in some smooth soul stone, which is grabbed by that furnace and is pushed in here to become soul dust. If in the future I just need to cook stone or something, like I don't know what I would need to cook, but that has only one layer of cook, I can throw it in any of those because they wouldn't be valid input. So I either have a, a three level cooking station 
or a input in the next one and go in the chest and unable to go in the next one. Also, I did go a bit crazy. Look at my EMC setup. And if you look at my top left, I currently have 4.25 million and I'm making 8,000 per second. That's because I'm importing the diamonds as fast as I can. This basic EMC link can only import one per second and I'm producing about one per second, which means that the one per second is going into the EMC link generating plus 8,000 per second. And unfortunately, this wall is too much for one sequential fabricator. So I'm gonna need a second sequential fabricator and a better level uh, link or a second link. And finally, 297 stacks here. So if ever like I need to make some quick EMC, I can grab all of this, come here and pull push all of that in here. Right now my EMC is a bit limited, but as we play through, it's gonna go up. So in the end, I'm gonna be in a good situation. But for now, uh, where is this mob? Oh, it's my mob farm. I still have to take out some noises, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to work a couple of things and for my power gen, I still haven't fully decided what I'm going to do, but I have some good idea of where I wanna go. Okay, so funny time. I always have another world where I test a lot of things and where I just play as many hours as I want. My series is all about making this, like finding the best path and the best route to make things as fast as possible. Like this, I needed the glowstone. I got the mob farm to get ender pearl and glowstone. And I got that as early as possible so that I could unlock the glowstones ASAP. And the first four glowstone, I got glowstone seed, not use them because glowstone seed now makes it infinite glowstone. Uh, and I have eight more, which means I have 12 more. And the fastest this is started, the better it is for me. Because the idea, now let me show you what the idea was. What I told you guys is that I wanted to make the Philosopher's Stone. And the reason I wanted to make the Philosopher's Stone was for a very stupid reason. I wanted to make the Philosopher's Stone because I wanted to make interdiction torches. I thought the interdiction torches were the one that would prevent mobs, uh, Endermen from teleporting. But here's what's happening. I have Endermen falling here and they take damage. And if they don't die one shot, they just sometimes teleport out. Well, sometimes, oftentimes they teleport out, which is why I only have two stacks of Ender Pearl here, because a lot of them teleport out. But that being said, there's two solutions to my problem. So we're gonna go with solution one, which is we're going to need a ender interdiction, ender inhibitor. Inhibits teleportation for entities up to eight block away, can be attached on any side of solid block, right click to activate, deactivate and it's that easy to make. So I need an Eye of Ender and a Glowstone. So I still needed Glowstone, but that wasn't a problem. So let's grab the Eye of Ender, and then we're going to need some Redstone. Let's grab a stack, and we're going to need some Iron. Let's grab a stack. And do I also need gold? Nope. Perfect, so I can make that, and I can come upstairs, and I can do uh, you know what? Before I put it down, let me show you. I'm going to put it here. Now, these can no longer teleport. So, if I take it here and put it like that, any Enderman that falls down here will no longer be able to teleport. But... I couldn't find that. I didn't remember what it was named. So I did ask on the Discord. By the way, the Discord that the mediocre modders have is amazing. Great community and people answer questions super fast and people communicate a lot. It's really fun. Uh, so in that, uh, in there, 
I got someone posted a comment and I'm just oh my god I asked permission to use his name uh yes I have it here Dasfion suggested something he said well why not just one shot the mob by using an upgrade and I'm like derp here's what happened I looked at mob tools and when I looked at mob tools I'm like ooh beheading and I clicked beheading no not beheading sorry I saw what was it uh oh looting i wanted looting and i looked at looting and i was like platinum ingots how do i get that and i'm like tier three. Oh, forget it so i just forgot about all of the upgrades but there are two upgrades that you can put this sharpness upgrade that you can put 10 of will damage mobs so much better that they will die one shot and while we're at it why not put the beheading uh, mod also so we're gonna come here and i'm gonna grab some iron sword one two three four oh that's one too many and rain don't want rain it's not considered a thunderstorm great uh okay so i'm sorry options music and sound weather is going to have to go down a little bit more okay that's better and now we're going to need some gold so i'm going to grab some gold and I already have iron, so with the gold, I'm going to make a helmet. And with the iron, I'm going to make a helmet. And then I'm going to put those in, and I'm going to grab two of each, one and two. And the other helmet, one and two. And then I'm going to come here, and we can make the beheading right here. Oh, I need gold nuggets. Nuggets. Give me a stack for now, just because I'm lazy. So if I come here, I can do this mob masher upgrade and I can do this beheading upgrade. And then, beautifully enough, they go back in the enemy system and they can be, oh, <laughs> I don't need 64. I just need 10 because that's the max that you can put anyway. And let's do 10 of those also. And let's go back upstairs and we're going to just upgrade the mob masher which means now things are gonna go way faster uh boo -boo. and you can put all of the other upgrade too oh where did my block go oh by the way another funny story i semi i don't know if you watched the time lapse but in the time lapse where i cleaned the tier two resource that were here i semi panicked because i thought i had lost four of the blocks uh, of the tier two generator and what ended up happening is that they were grabbed by uh the uh, absorption hopper and they were just teleported and i found them back here so at least that and by the way i put a basic emc link here so that whatever can go in it like so if a carrot comes by see those are all non emcable so they'll go in there and these, some will come in there, but once it's full, once we've reached the max number of stack limit, they should go in the EMC. And I'm just keeping like some of the things and all of these I'm going to trash, but that's going to come later. So basically right now it's been like 20 minutes of recording and I have not even started the episode. Uh, so we no longer need to go into project E but I really want to because Project E is awesome, but that's going to come later. Can I just please sleep? I want to stop the rain. Anyway, so today, I've always said my playthroughs are about finding the most efficient and fast route. And one of the things that is going to be very painful for you in the beginning is industrial foregoing because industrial foregoing requires latex and latex generates very slowly and as you can see the mob slaughter factory is unlocked but that only goes toward the end of the quest so it's not something that's a okay i i need to time enough i need to clear some more noise so creeper and well, all the death should be taken care of. Okay, so as I was saying, uh, are you kidding me? So hurt maybe? 
Kurt, player, zombie villager. No, I turned off all of the earth. Skeleton. I know that I'm hearing a skele skelly right now. Okay, it's gone. Perfect. So, as I was saying, uh, one thing I want to explain. So, these pentagonal one are kind of optional, but I'm not quite sure why they're optional, but that was my understanding. The round are standard quest, and the gears are quests that uh, have something that are dependent on. If you click here, see, task, view dependencies, magma crucible, and fluid and fluid encapsulator so unfortunately we need to do a little bit of let's get thermal and guess what you have these two gear quests here telling you what you need to do so we're going to make a magma crucible and a fluid in cap in okay fluid encapsulator so we're going to need some machine frame some copper gear some red some flux coil so frame let's grab two Copper gear. I don't know if we need four. I'm going to grab four just in case. We're going to need a bucket. We're going to need a redstone coil. I'll grab two coil. Wow, we're already at 10 million. Do you remember we started the episode at 4 million and we're already at eight? Is there like where there's probably, yeah. See, that's the problem bye and maybe i'll be able to sleep i'm gonna clean those endermen pretty soon it's just i don't want to waste the time and die right now perfect we can sleep who okay perfect let's let's continue or start like what's what's even the right term here then we need a magma crucible those are invar gear and glass and nether brick so nether brick Ooh, i don't have those uh in var gear one and two and then glass one and two and i think i have everything that i need now let's craft this oh i needed three glass so glass again perfect thank you then i can come back here and for the magma crucible oh, for the magma crucible, I need to make the nether brick, and then I can make the magma crucible. And beautifully, these things are EMCable, so I can just EMC them, and then I can go grab one of this. And oh no, those are the wrong ones. Uh, grab one of these magma crucible and one of these fluid encapsulator, which means we've now completed two quests and we've unlocked this quest line, and we can now make pity machine frame you will need to infuse four logs with a melted machine frame to get the pity frame and start into industrial foregoing magma crucible and fluid encapsulator the pity machine frame is used to craft a lot of machine you will not be required to craft all of the machines to progress but there will be quests below for a lot of the useful machines these are optionals depending on what your goals are within the pack if you are a completionist, I apologize for so many below. Some are useful, others not so much. So Pithy Machine Frame is made in a fluid encapsulator with four logs and melted machine frames. And, well, melted machine frames are pretty straightforward. So we're just going to go frames, and I'm going to grab a stack. And then we're going to go drawer, and I'm going to grab two drawers. And then I'm going to go with oak log, and I'm going to grab one, two, three, four, oh, that's one too many. And then we're gonna need some energy pipe. And this is where we might start having a little bit of energy problem, but we'll see. I can always use a time lapse to augment our energy generation. Nope, not you. you. So let's go downstairs because, oh, this is resource generation to me because we're generating latex. So you know what? I'm gonna put it here. So let's go. This is the next level, the next step. So we're going to go. We put it one, two, one, two, three, and exit at the fourth space. So one, two, three, exit at the fourth, fourth space. 
And yeah, we're gonna have to do something about that here. And by the way, by making the floor double like this, it lets me do beautiful things like that to hide the pipes in the floor. So we're gonna take a magma crucible that we're gonna set down here. We're gonna put all of the machine frame in there and we're gonna configure it to auto output left, auto output and auto input from the top. And on the top, we're gonna put an oak drawer and I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to use the key on that one because I want to be able to put whatever I want in here and have it auto input in here and uh, flush. Right here, the magma crucible will for now always go in a fluid encapsulator. So I'm going to put that right here. And again, this is going to need some input. So we're going to put all of that here. We're going to say auto input from these two sides and auto output from there. So I do need another, yeah, I need another one here. But for now, let's just go downstairs and connect our machines, which means we're gonna have to extend the floor a little bit, which means we need a wand. So I didn't plan that properly, unfortunately. So grab some brick and grab some torches. Like so, perfect. So let's go downstairs. We're just going to take, we're gonna bang that up quickly. Let's just go right here to the edge. And how many more? Mm. One of the things that I'm probably going to do in the next episode is have that, that bottom floor just go a bit further so that if I ever fall, that I, I fall not too far down and just get a little bit of damage instead of instant death. But anyway, so you know what? I'm going to, I prefer having it on the roof and I should have done that from the beginning. Okay, but now this should be powered. So we're good to go back upstairs. And oh yes, I made another up point right here just because I was tired of having to go back and forth to that one corner and found another F7 spot. Let's turn F7 off for now. So right here, we have the Magma Crucible making this uh, machine frame something which is now coming here melted machine frame which is going on hope log and is going to slowly very very slowly wow yeah these are not fast which is kind of why i wanted to start this as soon as possible you know what let's do a little side quest since we're waiting in wait and we're going to come back here and we're going to make another thermal uh, thermal expansion quest. So let's just go to, let's get thermal. Let's make an hardened integral component. These are easy to make and EMCable. So I'm gonna need four invar, two redstone, two glass. So invar, four, one, two, three, four, one gold something, one gold gear, uh, some redstone, two I believe, and some glass. Also two, I believe. So integral component. Perfect. And it's detected and we can EMC it. So that's unfortunately the only level that we can EMC. Uh, you, ooh, oh, 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 just give me a moment. I did a boop boop. Dynamo. One, oh, pff, nope. One, two, three, four, let's put four more and let's go to integral component. You know what, that let's grab half a stack. I don't know, I don't need this many, but you'll see why. So we're going to go downstairs and we're gonna go back upstairs and we're going to grab some pipe. By the way, next episode, this is gonna be taken care of. We won't have to go back up and down all the time anymore. So let's grab all of this. Let's go back downstairs. And basically the reason I wanted to do this is that I want to add more of these. And like this. Then I need to turn them around and immediately deactivate. Don't forget to turn on pulling out energy. And now look at this. Before I do the next one, look at this. 
This generates 40 RF per tick. And now it can go up to 80. So the reason it's not necessarily making the max right now is that it will only make the max if you um, it will only make the max if you need it. So it means that right now I'm generating more power than I'm using, which is good. You always want to be generating more than you're using. Ideally, we want some batteries, but that's not for today. We're also going to stop one in here and one in here, which means ah oh, perfect. Let's grab these four, and now we can continue the quest. You know what? Boom and boom. I don't know if that's going to accelerate it enough to catch up, but this definitely... Okay, so now we're producing diamonds faster than the EMC lane can absorb them, but that's also a problem for another day. Don't worry, we're going to address and resolve it for sure. So let's get rid of all of this. And okay, so now we can craft our machines. So let's go back here. By the way, these two can't really do them right now because the reinforced integral is locked behind nether quartz and nether quartz is something that you get from nether resource and nether resource needs to make the nether catalyst which requires soul sand which we need to go to the nether for there's absolutely no way to make uh, nether sand any other way that i could find okay so and same thing soul soil is also something that needs something else so there's no way next episode we're going to have to go to the nether. That's the normal progression of things. So if I come back here and I go back to industrial for going, we've now unlocked the fluid extractor. You will need a ton of plastic going forward. Craft three of these and place them facing a log to begin producing liquid latex. Yeah, three plus one's not going to be enough. Check the use for the fluid extractor to see the ratio of logs to latex. The log do, do not stick infinitely. You can automate the log placement with refined storage constructor or a block placer, which you're unable to make until you get your first couple of piece of plastic. Okay, so we need to make the fluid extractor, which is not EMCable. So spamming, spamming this is not that easy. You still need a pity machine frame for each. Right now, I have four machine frames, so I'm gonna make four. I'm going to need cobblestone, iron, and lightweight pressure plate. So let's go right here. Grab this. Uh, let's grab iron. Let's grab cobblestone. Cobblestone. And I grab this block because I can do this, and then I can do this. And then I can push it back in the system and do plate and just grab a stack. Don't really need a stack, but like right now, my point is just to make things fast. I can always throw it back in the EMC system. Oh, we need piston. So piston that I'm going to need four, two, three, four. Perfect. And now I should be able to make those machine. Where is it? Right here. Fluid extractor like this. Boom. Throw this back in the EMC system. Okay. Now, one important thing, if I press R on this and I right click, it shows me that spruce log gives two millibucket per tick, acacia log four, two, two. So do we have acacia? Yes, we do. So of course, we're going to be using acacia. So let me come back right up here. And right now I'm going to come right here in a line. So I'm going to break this down and I'm going to go three, four, five. Oh, I don't think I claimed the quest. Now it's claimed. Perfect. And uh, I forgot the, the energy pipe. And why is it raining two nights in a row? Good. Since we're building, you know what? I'm gonna grab some energy. I'm gonna grab some pipes and I'm gonna grab some drawers and I'm gonna grab a tank and I'm going to grab some fluid pipe. Yeah, I'm grabbing all of the stuff. By the way, the power is optional, but my understanding is that the power will make them go faster. So I'm, I'm really not against the idea of going faster. I'm going to go like this and go, yeah, wrong side, buddy, other side, and one, two, 
three, four, five. Yeah, they're all connected. And then we can go and put a spruce log for the beginning. This is unfortunately going to be manual. We're going to resolve that later. So now I can go like this. Oh, wow. I can be all over the place and doing it wrong. But then I'm going to go right here to a jumbo tank. And where do I put, want to put the jumbo tank? I would want to put it at the end. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to, I don't know that I'm going to make more than ten. So for now, I'm just going to go with ten. I haven't made the other five yet, but I'm feeling I might go to twenty. But if I go to twenty, I will place some in a different position, like uh, in a line on the other side or whatever. So now I'm missing power. Let's go downstairs and add power. Although, like I said, power is not mandatory. It will just make things faster, I believe. So let's just do this and connect. And all of these are working. Perfect. I'm going to have to work on my power a bit more. But right now I'm adding as I go because I don't have extravagant uh, power problem. And I have so much coal that I can just spam these dynamo as much as I need them. So these are all pulling and we have, how much do we have? Not even a bucket. Next step to this is a bucket. So until we have a bucket, we won't be able to progress further. So while we're waiting, we're going to go and do the same old, same old thing. We're going to continue with thermal because one of the beauty of thermal is that all of the machines are EMCable. So we're just going to continue plopping through these machines. So I want to make a sawmill. Sawmill is, um, you know what? Uh, stone, copper, saw blade. Okay, so let me grab some frame, a stack, of course. Let's grab some redstone, some coil, some glass, some stone. Uh, stone, yeah. Some copper gear. Then I can go right here and I need some iron also, iron, and I need some copper. Although the copper, I'm only going to need one, I believe. Ah, you know what, let's grab a stack. So I need to make the saw blade, which is a recipe that I kind of know by heart. So let's do that. And then there's only one thing you can make with, oh no, there's two things that you can make with saw blade. So sawmill, perfect. That's one quest. Uh, not going to use that right now, but it's going to be done for later. Induction smelter. That's very important. We're going to need two Invar gear, two sand, and a blast furnace. Can I make a furnace out of stone? No, of course not. So let's go in here, grab a furnace. And I don't want to EMC the blast furnace. I don't find any use to it. So if I come back here and I go like this, I should be able to make a blast furnace somewhere oh boy i didn't think there was so many recipe with furnace right here Ooh, smooth stone are you really oh no, no no i have a solution let's make the redstone furnace first the redstone furnace is brick machine frame copper uh, redstone flux we have yeah so we just need uh, bricks so clay oh uh, no do i have brick so no so i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna make some bricks they are emcable so Ooh. it doesn't matter and with the bricks we're going to make the redstone you know what redstone furnace i don't know why sometimes it's one of these things where sometimes being lazy really doesn't pay off and now the because we have a redstone furnace, um, I'm going to just do this. And where's the power? Let's go downstairs and look at my power situation here because uh, this is my resource production back there. Everything that's resource gen is going to be back there. In this case here, we're not going to be doing resource gen. We're going to be... Um, 
It's the machines that I'm going to use for crafting or for operation. So let's just do this. And that's why I put an underfloor so that I could have spaghetti like this and I wouldn't get to look at the spaghetti all the time because that's one thing that from all of my other base often annoy me. I don't like having the stupid spaghetti everywhere. We're probably going to replace these cable later with something else, but for now, this should be just good enough. So I'm gonna go down to here. And that's going to be my wall, my floor of machine. Great, let's go back upstairs. We can continue. Can't wait to make elevators also to not have that problem. And same things, whatever I can hide in the floor, I'll hide in the floor. So I can go like this and I can go like this. And then we have the redstone furnace that I'm going to put right here. And now I can put all of this to cook three stone <laughs> into three smooth stone. And of course, we're going to EMC them. So that's really great. Oh, I still have two sterling die. Oh, it's the that's the two that I removed from back there. What was I doing here? Centrifugal. Oh, I'll move that in the time lapse. So smooth stone, uh, which I'm going, I made three, but I'm going to have to, I'm, I don't have to, but I'm afraid I'm gonna need it again. And if there are things that I really feel that I might need again, might as well just EMC them. So that's gonna give me a blast furnace. And with a blast furnace, I'm gonna be able to make an induction smelter if I get the sand and the two invar gears that I need. Invar gears, one, two. And while we're here, let's grab a bucket because we're going to go to a small, uh, a small side quest. Let's just do this and this and voila. We now have an induction smelter and we have a sawmill. So induction right here, sawmill right here. So these two, right now, I'm probably going to place those differently, re, differently later. But for now, let's put them down so that if I need them, I have access to them. And now that we have, we should have a bucket back here. If we don't have a bucket, I'm going to be sad but I'm pretty sure we do. Yes, we do, which means we now get, if I go back to the other quest line, we now get a latex processing unit, and then I'm gonna go power. Uh, I'm, I'm out of power pipe. Okay, I did not anticipate running out of power pipe, but I guess when you go from one side of your base to the other side, it will you will run out of power pipe. Anyway, it's not long, just a little trip down there. And voila, and then we can put the... Eh, yeah, I'm okay with it facing that way. And can we... Oh, this one doesn't auto input though. Hmm, so let's do this and this and this, and this, and a fluid pipe right here, and a go. Oh, and they go, I said. Also, I can put the bucket in here, and this is now going to start producing dry latex. Oh, it also needs water. Okay, so I hope you're ready for the ugliest, jankiest thing ever, but let's go like this and go around and do you see the logs last for a long while so i'm not super worried about these logs for now which is why i was okay with starting it manual really why would you do me bad like this creeper uh creeper enderman well, I know why, because you're an Enderman, and Endermen are only good for one thing. They're good for dying and giving us an uh, Ender Pearl. I didn't even look at you one second. Calm down. And now we have both, and we have Tiny Dry Rubber. Which, if I go to the next quest, we need 36 of. So, back to Thermal it is. And let's sleep.
Nope, they're a monster nearby. So I guess I'm... Please, stop. I guess I have to kill that. Okay, I guess it was easy to kill that one. Now can I sleep? Yes. Great. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, we can now continue with the next quest of Thermal. Let's get Thermal. Right here, the Pulverizer. So we're going to need Flint and a Piston. So if I come back here, Flint. I don't have Flint. Oh, that's easy though. Gravel and a Piston. So Flint is something that you can just craft from gravel like this. And I'm going to make three. And then I can go like this and say, uh, pulverizer, just make it easy on yourself. Pulverizer uh, right here. And let's make it like that, which we're going to EMC and EMC the flint, EMC this and put that back in. So pulverizer right here. And also we're going to go and put that one right here. So again, we have all of these machine usable. And you know what? Let's come back right here and look at integrated components. Let's grab a stack because yes, of course. We're going to have to look at upgrading the integrate, like uh, the industrial foregoing machine at some point. Which now brings us to the last three things to me. Like I said, this one, we're blocked by nether quartz. We have electrum. We don't have signalum, but that's easy. Um, can we make signalum right now? How do we make signalum? We can make signalum in the induction smelter. Yep. So it's silver, copper, and redstone. So ingot, silver, nope, that's in var, silver, copper, and redstone and what we're going to do is i'm going to go throw that in there and oh not the pulverizer the induction smelter like this and once i get four the first thing i'm going to do with these four is make the seed that's going to be in my time lapse so i'm not going to take some recording time from every seed that i need to make from now on i'm going to make on my own time on well on my time lapse which means the only thing that we're going to be missing is the nether quartz. But in the next episode, we're going to the nether. So we're going to take care of that. Then here we need to make the resonant integral component. For that, we need lumium. Lumium also is a seed and is also something that you can make in an induction smelter. You know what? Silver, tin, glowstone. Let me grab a induction smelter like this and silver ingot silver thin and glowstone yeah i don't want to use all my glowstone though i'm just going to put a little bit so let's put that down right here this silver thin, and half of my glowstone so that should make enough lumium for me to make the seeds again and duplicate them and you know what let me oh yes let me grab four under pearl let me come back right here induction smelter like this and then we need some uh nick what i i'm not sure let's go check for the enderium we're going to need induction smelter ender pearl lead ingot and diamond dust so this i only want to make four because this is I, I find it expensive, so I'm going to need four ender pearl, two diamonds, and six lead. So lead, one, two, three, four, five, six diamonds, one, two, and let's go back there. Place down another one, upgrade it, and then, oh, I still need to pulverize my diamonds. And then it's going to be ender pearl lead and i already have my 16 lumium and i already have enough signalum so on that front i'm all going to be good 
and can take the diamond and put them. So I'm going to have three beautiful seats to craft in my time lapse. These music mob, hoy. Okay, so the last part is the blast chiller. To make the blast chiller, you need packed ice. How do you get packed ice? With the ice essence, but surprise, surprise, ice seeds requires ice. So we can't do it like that. But we can get it from a pure daisy, which is going to transform ice into packed ice. Or multi-servo press with blue ice or whatever. So not really. Now, how do we get ice? We can go the EMC Project E-Way with a zero ring or ring of arcana or a ice charge. Ice charge requires bliss powder, which I don't have. So that's not an option. Oh, I just got out. Uh, but again, if I go to ice, the other ways of making ice is the blast chiller, which I don't have yet. Uh, and world transmutation. So we could do it. See, I'm not even sure how that works. I don't know how you give it water to get ice. Anyway, that's going to be a problem. See, that's another way of doing it. Uh, this way or huh, that's probably the better way of doing it the other option is with uh, snow blocks there was another way of making ice huh okay so what's the ring of our oh that's expensive what's the zero ring oh see you can't do this one because you need snow and snowball to make this one but that's, again, something that we're going to do in a future episode. So for now, let's come back here. And hopefully we have our 36. Whew, yes, we have more than 36. And now we're in a cooking situation where... Oh, no, not cooking. Sorry. So I'm probably going to need to make put a crafting sta table somewhere else. Well, first, let's make sure that the reward did get... Uh, yeah, we did get it. And it gives us dry rubber. So the latex processing unit requires three things, power, liquid latex, and water. I would recommend an aqueous accumulator to auto pipe water in, but you can just also bucket it in manually. So yeah, no. You can combine nine together to get a dry rubber piece. So if I go like this, I now have 13. But of course, it has to be more complicated than that. Uh, that doesn't give you so if you look at what you can do with dry rubber you can basically just cook it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come here and do this and go five four and four to try and make this go as fast as possible and i'll look at all this beautiful soul dust so that's going to give us one plastic two plastic three plastic three is going to be enough for now so let's come back here and grab some machine frames. Oh, grab all of the machine frames, I guess. And I don't know if we can continue. Can we do this? I think that would be the last quest. So we need to make a dissolution chamber. Dissolution chambers require two bucket, two plastic, diamond gear, and two gold ingots. So let's go back here. Diamond gear, I probably don't have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I'm gonna need nuggets. So I'm basically all making the same gear because I like the look of those gears and I don't want to have three different look. Gold, and I need a second, oh, I can make a second bucket. So go bucket like this, and then we can go diamond gear, and I kept one to be able to put in the EMC machine. But now there's not a lot of things that use diamond gear, so I'm just going to find it. The lazy way, dissolution chamber. Oh, I need a chest. So throw one in there, grab a chest, and then we can just switch back here. And you know what? Let's just say dissolution chamber like this and craft it. Okay, so no rewards, no nothing. But this now unlocks the simple machine frame. Similar to the pity frame, the simple one crafts a number of machine. Usefulness of each depend on what you want to accomplish. So simple machine frames are made in a dissolution chamber with plastic, iron ingot, nether brick, pity machine, gold gear, and of course, latex. But that will let us make better machine.
So let's try to make one of these. So, well, one of these. Let's grab some nether. I have some iron already. Uh, if I come back here, what else? Uh, oh, what is this? Gold, huh? Pink slime ingot. Okay, that's interesting for the future. Um, advanced machine frame. We're also going to need it for advanced machine frame, but with pink slime. Uh, that's not a concern though. Supreme machine frame. Great. There's so many tiers to this. Okay, well, let's just go with machine frame. <laughs> Uh, machine frame. Every time I decide to be lazy, I end up paying for it. So I'm going to need plastic. I'm going to need gold gear. Gold gear. So let's go back here and grab this plastic, that plastic, and that plastic. And I hope that you guys see why I started this so early. Because this is going to be a problem long term Ooh, what's going to be the best arrangement yeah well the best that's not going to be the best but it is going to work so i'm going to go like this and put this machine right here and put another fluid pipe right here and i don't know if it's going to share though because i'm not producing enough like i'm not producing it fast enough i'm using it faster than i'm producing it so what I'm going to do for now is stop this right here, which means this machine is now grabbing it. And I'm gonna go, whoa. I'm gonna go machine frame right here, plastic here and here, nether brick here and here, gold gear right here, and iron here and here, I believe. Let's just verify that that's what it was. Nether, iron, plastic, pity, gold gear, and we need 250 billet bucket of latex. Oh, we already have it. So see, this, this is not producing so bad at the end. It's not amazing because the dry rubber, we need nine each. And see, I have 38 more, but that's not a lot. And voila, we have a simple machine frame. That's another quest. And now the next step is the advanced machine frame. But advanced machine frame are made almost in the same way, but there's two particularity. First, it needs pink slime, which means we're going to have to make a mob slaughter factory. But funny enough, that's what it wants us to make here. And we need also a uh, netherite scrap, which is something that we're only going to get once we go in the nether. So I really wanted to start this to start getting plastic as fast as possible. And now I think I can resume this. And the reason I can resume it is this has a maximum amount that it can contain. So once this machine is full, this one's gonna fill. And this one, for now, we're going to use not a lot because, oh, there's another problem with this machine. See, it doesn't stack. What you can do is lock the input and then put everything in a chest beside it and pump it in. But that's, that's kind of sucky. Uh, let me just do this because I don't really have a choice for now. And this and this. I'm doing a second one just to be able to lock it so that next time when I put a chest here, I'm going to be able to just lock those things up and make sure that they work. Uh, sorry, put a chest and input from the chest. And this is going to go auto output right here. Great. So nothing here is fully automated yet, but this is where we're generating resource. That's where we're generating uh, pity machine frame. This is where we're generating the higher tier. And see now it's locked, so it, it should be easy to push whatever we want in here. Here we're generating tiny dry rubber. Let me grab those. And everything else is looking amazing. And this caught up. But now I'm making diamonds faster than the EMC machine can take them, which means we're going to have to go to a higher tier EMC machine. By the way, for the, you know, let's just, whatever I can get rid of, I'm going to get rid of for now. Oh, I got rid of my food. Bread. Give me a stack of bread. Perfect. And I think I also got rid of my ranch. Yeah, that was my only ranch. So let's grab that back. And if I come back here and I grab this, I can make four more. 
this is like I said, this is not an easy process. And I wanted to start that as soon as possible so I can spam it in my time lapse. I'm you know what? I'm probably going to be making 20 of those. I'm going to be making a lot more because I really want to have as much plastic as possible. And now that we have plastic, though, we're going to be able to make block placer. Block placers are block placer are machines that requires two plastic. So can be emceed these three things, redstone, not the plastic. So every four plastic is going to make us one block breaker, but it's something that we're going to have to, oh, I'm going to make one just to show you. And you know what? I think that's going to have to be the end of the episode. Oh, I'm way above again. So yeah, no, I'm not going to make the block placer because right now I can still do this manually and maybe we'll start the next episode with the blood placer. Uh, and unfortunately, I do have one last thing to do. Let's go down here and look at our essence. I'm going to grab all of this essence and I'm going to go on a crafting spree like this. Ooh, it's destroyed. So one, two, three, four. One, two. Just grab more. Always grab more. When in doubt, grab more. Make more. Spam more. It's always a solution to everything. So let's do this. And I'm going to spam until this one breaks. Perfect. It's broken. Well, not perfect. But it is what it is. So it's broken. Let's make this. And then let's make this. Let's replace it with the next one. And let's go like this and like this. And now let's replace it with the blue one. And let's go like this. Let's replace it with the orange one. Oh no, wait, how do, how do I get, I'm confused. How do I get the red ones? With blue around the blue crystal. Okay, so I just made the step in the wrong order. So blue around this, and now I have enough red to go, I need to make the next tier of crystal. Let me check the crystal crystal uh, the next year is red and red needs blue for prosperity shard and this one's going to need four more prosperity shards so let's grab eight prosperity shard seven eight let's go downstairs and let's come back here so oh great like this around the blue with these four is going to give me the red and now with the red nope with the red i can make five insanium which is just enough to now make the infinite crystal and the reason that this was a must and was the first thing that i can I, I was going to make is that the insanium master infusion crystal look it can craft tier one tier two Tier three, and believe me, it can do all tier and it doesn't take damage, which now brings me to the last, 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 last thing I want to do. Torch. Nope. So stick. Redstone. Crafting table. And I don't know what else. Just give me a second. So stick. Redstone, redstone torch. I want a crafter. This is the best setup that you have to make the setup as fast as possible. So I need a machine frame. So that's four iron, two gold nuggets, two lapis, gold nugget, one, two, three, four iron. Oh no, it was only two gold nugget, four iron. And then we need the blue dye, two blue dye blue dye one two and then we're going to need some pipe with an upgrade pipe with 
a item pipe and some more energy pipe. So now let's make the crafter. So I can come right here, make the machine frame, and then make that into a tier one crafter and make that into a tier two crafter and make that into a tier three crafter, which is unfortunately not EMCable. Would have been amazing, but it is what it is. And then we can go right here and put this crafter right here and bring power to it like this. And now look at this. This is just plain epic. Let me just do this, upgrade this, and then we're going to, oh, yeah, we're going to let it on slow mode in the beginning, but now I can put all of this in here and all of this in here. And we can start making first recipe, master infusion, uh, master infusion crystal with four like this. And then you need to say result of crafting stays in apply. And then just look at this. It's now crafting all of the inferior essence into the tier two and it's putting them back in here. And the reason that's good is that now you can come here, choose the second recipe, go like this and say, craft them like this, put them in the internal buffer, apply again. And now we're making tertium essence. Third recipe, put this right here, grab the tertium essence like this, inside again, apply. It's making the Imperium Essence. And then Mastery Infusion again. Imperium right here. And they in internal apply. And now we're making Supremium Essence. And now we can just do this and go in here and go a bit crazy. Uh, there's here there's a there's a thing here for fast. Okay, fast is fast. So let's come back here. And now we have enough to do the one last recipe, which is going to be Insanium, internal and apply. So now basically what this is doing is this is going to be just completely transforming my essence as fast as it comes in. Look at this. This is just so crazy fast. And it doesn't matter. And I'm going to explain to you why it doesn't matter that I'm making the highest level of essence. Because I'm not damaging my crystal. I'm barely using power. And at the end of the day, you can always downgrade. So now let's say I grab one insanium like this. Okay. And I'm upstairs and I want to make a seed. And it's a orange seed that I want to make. And go like this. And like this, and like this, and I now have Thursium Essence to make my seed. So that's why. I don't care that it's at the highest tier. It is even better that it's at the highest tier because it makes it that easy to just grab whatever I want and make it. So now, now I'm done with my episode. There's so much to show though. I don't know. I'm going to end on this because this was basically what I wanted to rush. I wanted to rush this to start getting, oh my God, the latex. Yeah, this will need eight buckets before it starts filling this. So that's why I need to spam this. I need to add a lot more. I'm gonna go in my time-lapse and I'm just going to add to this. I'm also going to make the island bigger going this way and maybe a couple more floor underground. And I might add two more tier two resource generator just because it's bugging me that it's not straight. But at this point, we've proven that until we get a tier two link, we're producing way faster than we need to. And this machine is keeping up. So I don't know how much more I can add for this machine to keep up, but I can just upgrade it more, which is going to come in next episode. So next episode, we're going to get into uh, red in, into project E, like I said, because that's the way to go to the nether and resolve our next level of resource, which is gonna unlock a lot more things. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.
Dancing, my baby. Dancing.